Hey everybody, this is Kelly of Rojo Chief Clothing. And as you see right here, I just clicked on my link tree where you can go to my anchor.fm, which is my podcast. And sometimes I'm going to have news articles that I'll be talking about on here that I won't share on YouTube. So make sure that you're following this. And also, if you would like to have some clothing for yourself or other family members or friends, I am selling clothes for men, women, kids, and babies. Now, let's get ready for the show. Now, for all of you that may not know who the royal family is, it's a young uh, couple that's on YouTube that's really popular by the name of Queen Nyjah and Clarence, NYC. And they were trying African food for the first time. Now, let's just think about this logically. We know that um, that we are indigenous people, but a lot of our folks, they don't know that they're indigenous and they believe the hype that they came over here, that their ancestors came over here on slave ships. And the thing of it is, is that if you were of African descent, of recent African descent from uh, enslaved people, then you would have had some sort of African culture would have still would have been ingrained in you and you would know, you know, how to fix your food the same way that your ancestors had fixed their food. You would have remembered it would have been passed down on how to season your food. Your food wouldn't be like American Indian cuisine. You wouldn't just, you know, one day as an African person decide that you're going to give up your culture and the way that you do things just to adopt a whole nother culture. It just doesn't make sense. Okay. That's how we know that we're American Indians because our cooking techniques are a lot different from African people's cooking techniques from the way that they fix their food, how they cook their food, how they season their food and what type of foods that they eat. Now let's check out this video. A place called Africa restaurant. When you look in there, like you see that wall, it reminds me of Lion King. All right, this is, uh, I'm a little scared too. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie though, this is quiet. Good. Smell good in here. All right, y'all, so you guys told us to try the Senegal, how you pronounce it, Senegalese? The Senegalese, you're right? Senegalese. Yeah. Okay. We don't have this. You don't have it? Okay. You said a goosey. Cassava leaves, I heard, were good. Okra, beef soup. Yeah, what's the best thing here? She said they don't have a Senegalese, so we could try the fufu and the goosey. The, okay. the fufu come with the goosey? The fufu, yeah. It, it come with it. Okay. We can try the jollof, yeah. Nigerian jollof. I want jollof is spicy. Okay. Um, and the, it looks like there's two kind of cassava leaves on here, which... It's the same. Anyways, they want us to try the cassava leaves. Yeah, I could do it. Uh, the cassava leaf and the what you want to pick for me? The, they said she said the lamb stew is really good. Can we do can we do jollof rice? No, not, not white. Can we upgrade? White rice. It comes with white, either white rice or the pounded yam. Okay, so we'll have to get jollof alone. The jollof you can do it with the with the grilled lamb. With the grilled okay, lamb. okay. Uh, let's do grilled lamb then. Yeah, let's do the grilled yeah. lamb. With the jello. Uh oh. So you want to finish in 25 minutes. Okay. And we're doing takeout too, so you can put the takeout. Yeah, everything is takeout. Okay, y'all, so we're here at the house, back at our beautiful house. I love this house. And we got the food here. It smells good, but it smells different. It smells different from. I think it's just a lot of things. This is the jollof with the grilled lamb, which looks amazing. That looks good. That looks really good. This is the fufu. Oh, that's the fufu. How do you do that? Fufu. You just open that up and you tear it and dip it in the soup. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? All right. Oh, oh and more fufu. fufu. So, so what's that? We both got a fufu. And then this. This is the um, 
um, cassava leaf. Okay. It's the cassava leaf stew. Okay. Wow, you? that looks so different. Whoa. challenging year and asking for help can be hard this is the goosey that's the one with the uh stuff in it the meats all the different meats what, what, did you show them with this one nah we didn't open it oh that's just like some onions all right okay. yeah they, and all of this is really like messy so all right so are you ready? <laughs> All right. We need to, uh, we need to get a knife to bust open the, bust open the, uh, fufu. What's the knife, man? Bust open the fufu. All right, yeah, uh, so y'all know, y'all know I'm really picky, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm really doing this. For I need you. to. I'm doing this for you guys. Um, a lot of people wanted us to do this video, so we're going to do the video. And I'm gonna just try. I'm a. Tr I don't know if I'm gonna try everything, but I'm gonna try most. You gotta try everything. We both. I don't think I could try the meat though. I'm not. I never had goat. I've never had like cow's feet. I never had some of those things. So it's like I don't know if I could go that deep into this game, into this challenge. That's like that's new. Okay. You know what I mean? Another thing I was thinking too. I hope I'm not like allergic to, to anything. anything. Yeah. But without knowing, you know, is it good? Different. <laughs> I don't like beast fits. I'm scared, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I'm scared of. I'm scared of change. I'm scared of like. Cause I don't think for some I'm reason. Scared of new things. It's like juice soda. Yeah. What we try first? Here, here goes your. Okay. All right, guys. Again, I've never had lamb, but I will try this lamb because it looks good. It looks like chicken. Okay. And I'm gonna try. Let's see. So. Let you guys know what I think. There's something that's more leafy smelling. Yeah, those are leaves. It's I know. Cassava leaves. Yeah. Okay. Try that. Try. You try what are we making? I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to see what you want to say. Let's do it together, bro. Can't go wrong with rice. That's spicy rice, though. Whoa. Whoa. Try the lamb. Try the lamb I'll try the lamb, man. I never had lamb, guys, but I'm going to try it. Okay. Lamb is real stretchy. It's real chewy right there. Bounce back on it. Okay. So the 
food food don't smell like anything. It like, just don't. Like literally at all. It tastes like whatever you put it in. I heard. Okay, so. So we just grab it. I heard you're supposed to swallow it, not chew it. What? How do I do that? Pause that. You right, beef. No. <laughs> Man, it's okay to swallow. Swallowing is normal. <clears throat> No, I'm saying you're supposed to, I've heard you're not supposed to uh, chew it. Am I, am I, wow, what was that? Something spicy. <laughs> it's like kicking in right now. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. What's in the goosey though? Is it lamb? Again? It's just meat in there. It's different kinds of meat. It's goat. It's in the goosey? I thought that was in the cassava leaf. No, it's goat. No. Yeah, I don't even know. Nah, don't do that. It's, Don't do that. It's goat and... I need 100% transparency right now. <laughs> Don't do that. Let me know what's in that. Babe. All right, so I'm not eating It's meat. different meat, babe. SkinCeuticals. Take control of your complexion. Introducing Silamarin C... Too big of a club. No, but I think it would be better too if 
when you scoop it, you get some actual things like yeah. to make it taste. Now look at Queen's face. Look at her facial expressions. She just touched her nose. She's looking at the food. She's thinking about it. To me, it looks like she really doesn't want to do it, but she's doing it anyway because her fans want her to try this food. Now, look at how she looked like she was nauseous right there. And she's touching her face. She looked like she wants to throw up. Now, look at his facial expression. He was looking like, what the hell did I just put in my mouth? And she started laughing because she already knows what he's thinking in his head. And he's like, ooh, like this is so nasty. That's the type of look he's, and he's thinking like to himself, damn, I got to spit this stuff out. So then he went ahead and he ran. And she's still laughing. So that's my whole point is that if we were people of African descent from West Africa, we would be used to eating this type of food the way that it's seasoned, the way that it's fixed. That's how you know that we're not the same people. We're not Africans, and African people are not us. They have their own culture, and we have our own culture. That's not saying that we are a better people than African people. That's not what it's saying, but that there is a huge difference between our culture and their culture, especially when it comes comes to food culture. So tell me what do you think about this. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm out.